Hi there, welcome to April's Solar Stats video. And it's been another brilliant month in April, just as it was in March, but even better. And we'll come on to the stats in a minute. But what else has been happening this month? Well, we've had a few price changes. Obviously, April sees prices go up and down. I think my standing charge has gone down a little bit. Uh, but my sort of peak price has gone up a little bit as well. So it's kind of averaged out really, I believe. Um, basically we've had one saving session this month as well. I'll mention that in the video. And then finally we had a really weird day where we had a half price EV charging night uh, where Octopus let me charge my EV and the rest of the house for half the normal price. So three and a half pence a kilowatt hour instead of seven. Uh, as long as I didn't charge my car on the following night, which I didn't. Uh, but I'm just waiting for the numbers to come in for that because that can take, they said, up to about two weeks. But before we get into the stats, let's just remind ourselves of my solar panel system. Uh, so 14 Jinko 390 watt panels, uh, totaling 5.4 kilowatts, 10 on the south and four on the east, and a solar edge four kilowatt inverter so that's the solar side. On the battery side, we've got the three kilowatt AC inverter and the eight kilowatt Gen 1 Give Energy battery. And then of course, I've got a few extra bits and bobs such as the My Energy Eddy heating the hot water, the Harvey and the Herb, and the Hypervolt EV charger. Okay then, 817.46 kilowatt hours for the month. Uh, that is a massive uh, amount per day on average, 27.23. 27 kilowatt hours per day on average. Um, as you can see, many of the days in April have been over 30, um, especially in the first kind of 10 days or so. And then we had a few odd days that were below. Um, two bad days, as you can probably see here, five kilowatt hours on the 15th of April and five kilowatt hours on the 21st of April. Um, so it could have been a perfect, perfect month if they'd have been up in the 30s as well. Um, and then we had a little bit of a lower amount, but pretty good for this time of year still, 17, 19. Um, and then at the moment, we finished off the end of April really, really strong. Um, with sort of over 35 and stuff like that in the last couple of days. And the beginning of May has started uh, really, really well as well. So how does that compare with other Aprils? Well, as you can see in the lime green kind of colour for 2025, it's just literally... Uh, blown the other years away and it's nearly nearly the highest I've ever had uh, which was so far anyway in June 2023 when I had 835 kilowatt hours and we had 817 this month in April so like I said last month we're really kind of two months ahead again March was amazing um, now April's been amazing um, I dread to think what the other months could do. Could they get even better? Could we be passing the 800, 850, 900 kilowatt hours um, a month? If it is, if we do even, it will be amazing. But yeah, it just tipped over the 800, easily surpassing last year. I was getting a bit worried actually with the years getting worse and worse. You know, 730, uh, 679, then 590 in April for the last three years. And now we've just gone crazy. Something's definitely happened. So I'm looking forward to uh, next month uh, for May, because we've only got to beat 664. Uh, and at the moment that looks quite easy to do, but we'll have to wait and see. Right, so here's a quick look at the panels individually for the month. So south, 10 in the south uh, on the bottom, all getting around the 61 to 62 kilowatt hours each. So fairly standard on those, they're all working well. And then the four on the east, uh, obviously they get the sunshine in the morning a bit more and then kind of lose it, lose out in the afternoon, but 51 kilowatt hours on each of those for the month. Right, so this is in the My Energy dashboard. Uh, for the eddy for heating the hot water. Now I've got to say some of the uh, usage this month is a bit screwed up because we went away early April. And I think you can tell where. Uh, so the big spikes are overnight charging on cheap Octopus Intelligent at 7p a kilowatt hour for uh, heating the hot water. 
uh, there was a little bit of extra heating uh, where someone who will remain nameless, my son used all the hot water and then my wife wanted some, so we did have to put the gas boiler on. Sorry, we did put the gas boiler on actually, not the electric, uh, just because it's quicker to heat up and sort of costs about the same. We we're probably exporting as well. I'd rather export and earn more than, uh, than use the sun, use the solar. So it's been a fairly average month, 111 kilowatt hours in the eddy. Um, usually we're a lot more than that because we had sort of, what do we have, three, six, eight days uh, without using any hot water, just let it cool down and then heated it up again before we came home. And again, the hypervolt usage was a little bit lower this month for the EV charger, basically because we weren't charging the car for seven or eight days. So usual peaks of sort of February and March uh, were not there this month, so a lot lower, 310 or well, nearly 311 kilowatt hours went into both the cars in April. So we put 310 or 311 kilowatt hours in both the cars in the month of April. Uh, price was 7p per kilowatt hour overnight on Octopus Intelligent, which equals 21 pounds and 77 pence. So the i3 did 778 miles in April and the iX3 did 521, giving us 1,299 miles in total. Uh, which works out the average of 1.7 pence a mile, which is pretty good. And you can tell it's warming up now uh, with the average miles per kilowatt hour coming over the four number. So 4.17 miles on average per kilowatt hour for both the cars. Right, so we're in the uh, Octopus Energy dashboard now looking at how much power I imported for the month of April. So 676 uh, kilowatt hours for the month. As you can tell, first few days of the month, we were away, so there was not a lot coming in, just uh, filling the battery up every night. And then we came home and we had a few days of big use, basically filling the car up. We did have one day where Octopus gave us half price um, electric if we filled the car up one night, but not the subsequent night. So that kind of worked out okay. Haven't seen the kind of price reduction on that one yet. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, biggest day, 75 kilowatt hours there, um, but 676 uh, kilowatt hours for the month used. Right, so onto electricity exported. Yeah, really good month for export, except for those two days on the 15th and the 21st. Uh, really wanted to hit £100 on the export this month, but didn't quite make it. £97.10, but we are still in profit this month, mainly because I think we went away, but I think we'd still have a little bit of profit, uh, including the stand and charge, of course, which has to be deducted. But uh, yeah, so the profit did cover the stand and charge this month as well. Uh, what was the biggest export day? I think it was probably £4.49 on the 29th. Yeah, but a lot of the days we were, because you can see, we were probably hitting over or up to four pounds a day uh, on export, which is quite nice, really. So 97 pounds and 10 pence for the month, which was 647 kilowatt hours exported for the month. So now onto the gas. As I said, we didn't use much gas this month. The boiler was turned off. We just heated the hot water a couple of times. Uh, during the early evening when it needed topping up. So 15 kilowatt hours in gas, uh, nine pounds 79, but let's take the stand in charge off, uh, 98p in uh, gas use. Okay, so onto some numbers then. I was a little bit late doing the video this month, mainly because Octopus wouldn't show me um, the costings in the Excel sheet, so I couldn't work it all out. So I had to go back to the wait for the bill to be produced, which was produced on the 6th of May, uh, in order to work out the difference between the peak rate and the off-peak rate. But anyway, I've managed it now. So uh, off-peak, 672 kilowatt hours at 7p on Octopus Intelligent Go, or whatever you want to call it now, uh, 44 pounds and 87 pence and then 3.73 kilowatt hours at the peak rate, which was now 28.96 pence a kilowatt hour for me in the East, uh, which has obviously gone up a little bit uh, in April because last month it was 27.1 pence. 
but that equals one pound and three pence. And the export, 647.3 kilowatt hours, as I've said before, times 15p a kilowatt hour on the standard kind of export rate with Octopus equals 97 pounds and 10 pence for the export. And the one saving session with Octopus on the 22nd of April, I think we say we saved 2.44 kilowatt hours, which in turn equaled 232 octa points, which in turn equals 29p. So for the gas this month, uh, for 30 days, we used only 15.57 kilowatt hours, um, mainly because the heating's not been on this month, it's far too hot. And that was just a little bit of hot water heating that needed to be done in addition to the eddy heating it up on cheap rate overnight. So that came to 98 pence just for the gas. Uh, we fixed with Octopus for this kind of, what was it, 18 month fix, 16 month fix, something like that. Um, and you can also get out of it if you want to, uh, and you don't have any penalties. So if it really does drop, then you can go back to a normal uh, variable rate. So we fixed the gas at 6.29 pence a kilowatt hour at the moment. So the standing charge for gas is 29.38 pence a day times 30 days gives us eight pounds and 81 pence. And the electric has gone down a little bit in the standing charge. Uh, previous to April, it was 48 pence. It's now 47.61 pence a day times 30 days equals 14 pounds and 28 pence. So to sum up then, for the whole month, gas was 98 pence plus a standing charge of eight pounds and 81 equals nine pounds and 79 pence in total for the gas and for the electric. So we imported 45 pounds and 89 pence worth plus the standing charge, 14 pounds and 28 pence, but minus the export, 97 pounds and 10 pence. And then minus that saving session at 29 P equals minus 37.22. So that's good, a profit. Uh, but if we minus the gas off, yeah, we go down to 27.43 in profit, but still a profit. So that's it for the video. It's been really nice to be in profit this month. May it continue please in May, June, July, August, September as well. Uh, don't forget to leave your comments down below. Put your massive solar generation numbers in the comments. Uh, they'll be fun to read. Uh, and also don't forget to like the video if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.